Hey everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here with the 82nd episode of Coffee with Jody. And this video is in celebration of National Small Business Week, May 2nd through the 7th. In order to celebrate small businesses, where in the world you know, will we start? We know, all of us, that small businesses are the economic backbone, not only of our state and our country, but of our world. And that only 4% of businesses will ever break the million dollar mark. Our average is 750 here in the United States, 750,000 a year. So the idea is, wow, how does a business with revenues like that contribute as much as it does to the economic engine of a community? Well, there's lots of them. <laughs> That's lots of them. And we, of course, here at Action Coach Team Sage are one of those small businesses. And we have the privilege of working with a number of other small businesses as well. So why do we do this? One of the reason is that we're looking to transform the experience of being a small business owner from the struggle and strife and the chaos to ease and wealth. Our commitment is transforming the economic landscape of the community here in South Florida where we live. And ultimately, to have people really love what it is that they're doing in their business and their team members to love what they're doing as team members in that business. So how did we come uh, to, to exist? This is our 15th year. We're about to enter our 16th year in June, so next month. And it all started in a kind of funny way. I got a phone call from somebody telling me, hey, I was talking to someone uh, about how unhappy I was with my business coach. She said you were the best coach that she knew, that you would say no and not to take no for an answer. And I'm like, wow, you know, this out of the blue call really um, kind of caught me off guard. But I do believe that everything happens for a reason. So I said, well, I think I'm a pretty good coach. I'd done a lot of coaching and different courses that I'd taken in transformation and so on. Um, however, I would never call myself a business coach. So let me think on it, pray on it, sleep on it, do a little research, I'll call you in a week. And I did that. I came across Action Coach and the website with their 14 points of culture and went, oh, that's absolutely beautiful. I was really moved by Action Coach's 14 points of culture and, and sent off a would you make a good coach test. That unfolded, here we are um, almost in our 16th year uh, through you know, a series of due diligence and sleepless nights and commitment and learning and so on and so forth to be where we are today. But that's really how it got started. And then I went to training, um, you know, extensive training. I've been on a vertical learning curve ever since. And Doug joined me maybe a few months into my journey um, as my partner in both life and in business. So that's kind of how we got started. There's a number of people that I am obliged to thank and am privileged to thank. Brad Sugars, who created Action Coach, all of the team at Action Coach that continually supports us, all of the coaches you know, locally and around the world, our master licensee, uh, Nick and Arcelia Dove. You know, Action Coach is a global business coaching franchise. It's in 80 plus countries all around the world, making a huge difference in the lives of business owners, their teams and their clients and suppliers and so on. Um, so their whole Action Coach community um, our coaches that we've had, you know, from the beginning, Trent, Ian, um, Peter, Chuck, I mean, there are a number of different coaches that we've had over the years. So there's some of the ones that just kind of quickly come to my mind that have had a huge impact on us and our success. And then, of course, our clients. Over the last 15 years, we've had hundreds of clients and all of them have just been a huge contribution to us our current clients um, that we love, and all of those that will become clients in the future. And then last but not least, the business legends that we've been privileged to learn from, whether it's Jim Collins or Seth Godin or Simon Sinek or any of the number of different business leaders and writers and teachers that are out there you know, that we've had the good fortune uh, to be associated with. So, we were left with, okay, how are we going to celebrate Small Business Week? 
And one of the things we're going to do is make a donation to the Action Coach Foundation, which helps to educate young entrepreneurs in how to be successful so that they're not a part of the fatal statistics of those who don't make it. The other side of that is for each of our clients, we're going to give them a certificate that they can share with family, friends, or colleagues that they know in business to have a complimentary strategy session with us. So important today as we're, our economy is emerging back into a state of health and what is the innovation or the pivot in the world of what they need to do in order to take their success to the next level and take advantage of this growth period that we're entering. In addition to that, you know, we're just probably going to have a glass of champagne <laughs> and celebrate uh, ourselves and, and take the team to lunch and, and really just um, thank them because without our team, you know, we don't get to do nearly a fraction of what we get to do here in our business with our, with our clients and in our community. With that, I ask you, what are you going to do to celebrate as a small business owner, with your team and with your clients, your suppliers, you know, what is something that you can do to celebrate Small Business Week? I'd love to hear. All right, if you got value from this video, please like it, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and yay, small business. <laughs>